Yo, if you love Metroidvania games and you want something to scratch that itch after playing Hollow Knight, Moonscars is a pretty good one. I actually just played through, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, and it's really good. We'll jump into the gameplay here in just a second. I can actually suggest it, even though the game is being sponsored by Humble Games. Uh, this game is developed by Black Mermaid, and oh, it is good. So Metroidvania, Dark Souls, it is really tough. In the beginning, yeah, you got a couple of enemies here and there, but some of the bosses and the boss fights will take a little time getting used to, like, uh, learning all of their mechanics and everything, but, oh, I like it. This is one that I'll definitely suggest. Take a look, download the comments below, or in the description, rather. I'll leave links to where you can pick up this game. It releases September 27th on all platforms, PC, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, and here we go. So we're not actually in the gameplay yet. It kind of is starting off by showing how your character has died. And we are going to kind of be building them back up and putting them together. I'm, I'm going to leave a little bit of the, like the intro story for you to, to discover. I like showing off the gameplay of how new games play off. So that way you can get an idea of like, is this something that you want to play? I feel like the story is something that you have to kind of really dig into and you don't want to watch me read. So let's jump into the gameplay. All right. So right off the bat, you can see it wants to go to the right. Always check left. Whatever, whatever the game is, always check left. And uh, it, unfortunately, this one, no secrets that I can see. And so we've got our basic attack. We've got a dodge attack with B. And then also... There is a way to uh, counter enemies, but we have to get to a certain spot just a little bit further in. So it kind of reminds me of Grime a little bit in that way that you can uh, uh, counter a lot, right? And so as you're going, there'll be these little things on the ground that kind of give you tips on like how to play. So you can hold X and do a charge attack, which is kind of cool. And then in the air, you can jump and hit X up to twice. So there's no there's no uh, up attack, there's no down attack. It's just left or right, which I'm not gonna lie, I personally like having an up and down attack. Uh, even if there is no pogo, like that's totally fine. Ictor is a soul liquid, the very essence of human life. Use Ictor collected from the foes to heal Gray Irma's wounds. So on the bottom left, you'll see the the white stuff. That is what we are using to be able to heal whenever we take damage. And we got that cat up at the top. And uh, we skipped it in the cutscene, but the cat can actually, like, talk to us. And will give us some, like, lore and story as we play through. And so, here we go. At Mirrors, you can save, uh, learn Witchery. So, those are kind of like our spells. And then recover health in Ictor. Dark matter from the mirror reflects dark corners of the kingdom. So when we go in here for the first time, we will learn a witchery. This is a good one. So I think we can probably, I don't know if it'll let us learn one of these other ones. Maybe not, but we're going to start with this one. A witchery learned. And it looks like it's a fairly, like there's a, a good amount of stuff going on in this, uh, in this tree. I haven't like went through and like read all of them. Um, eventually we'll get through there. Who is that? Oh, we can talk to her. I missed this earlier. She's coming like I told you, kitty. No, silly. We will be best friends again. Okay. So now... Oh, and I forgot that there's a slam, which is kind of cool. To break some obstacles, you have to use witchery. So let's say you didn't have any witchery. You can actually just attack this until you get enough, or I guess soul. And then there's not a too long of a recharge time, but you have to have enough of your witchery to be able to cast the spells, right? And that's what this is saying. This stuff is like our money, bone powder. We use a bone powder to be able to level up. And if I remember right, this is where we learn how to counter. RB when enemies charge, perform a parry. Yes. Boom. So it's, I found when I was trying to do it, it's not necessarily right when you see the red. The red is to like kind of let you know that there's an attack going on and then you kind of go from there. It's actually fairly hard to time it just right. I actually died through here a couple of times. Ooh. Because you take a lot of damage if, you, if you're not careful. It's really, really easy to die. I'm not going to lie. Like, like if you play this, what, I, I don't know if this is going to have a demo or not. It might not uh, but if you get through there and you find that you die it it happens so i've got 910 
bone powder up the top right, and you need a thousand for the next upgrade. Oh, there we go. Pick this up. There we go. So now we can get another upgrade. So right now I've got one spell on my left trigger. And I'll get a second one on my right trigger once I get to a black mirror, which allows us to upgrade, right? And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really digging the way this game plays. Oh, and so you see in the top how it says spite. So as you kill enemies, you get these like temporary bonuses. And so dark vortex spells cost return 20% chance, immediate recovery, rich witchery costs 11% less. Uh, let's do that for now. And so the more enemies you kill, uh, you get spite bonus until you die. So you're, so at first it's pretty easy to get a spite bonus. It only takes a couple of enemies to kill before you, before you get it. And so even though like I could use a spell or I could heal, I'd rather heal. Hello? Ah, oh, this one looks positively dreadful. So we talk with the cat for a little bit. I'll let you, I'll let you dive into the story a little bit more. So we get into here. And so every time we go into the black mirror, it takes us to this weird spot, right? And this old man's here. Zoran, is that you, sculptor? What happened to me, Zoran? He, he just doesn't talk. I haven't been on the quest, had I? Did something happen between us? My guts ache like I've been put in a grinder. So we pretty much died and we've lost all of our ichter and we need to get put back together. So, oh yeah, before we go up there, there's a room this way. And this door looks like it is cracked, yeah. So then there's these glands. Not entirely sure what these glands do. We're gonna figure it out together. I don't know everything about this game. All I know is that I'm, ha I'm having fun playing it so far. So this is kind of interesting. It talks about putting your, your body in here and creating a mold. So I think something with this creating a mold is like putting yourself back together. Okay, so now that we're here, we get a special weapon and we'll be able to change out and do different special weapons as we go. So right now, I'm going to get the pierce because it makes enemies more vulnerable to witchery. Let's try that and then you'll be able to see the special weapon and we'll we'll give it a shot. That's all numb now, like everything's a reflection in a glass darkly and numb you are matter is you don't even have to be complete anymore nice feeling good feeling being bashed away from your own body now you are a clay mold clay beats flesh all good yet at what cost just a visage of your former self a moth leaving its empty cocoon a hungry thing bound to this place like me and my sister here Find a vessel for things eager to slip away. Now go. Find those forever lost to you. Yes, look for the sculptor, you clayhead. All right. So maybe we're made out of clay now? Even though we look the same, we are a little bit different. And then this is a special attack. It throws out a thing. Pretty cool. Doesn't take Ictor to use. You just throw it on out there. It just takes a long time to, to cool down, so you don't end up using it all the time. Oop, and your spite level. So our spite looks like it, it reset, which is fine. Uh, ooh, precision. Critical hit percent, 10%. Yep. What is this? Maximum health permanently increased. Let's go. Gotta love permanent increases. Oh, we haven't upgraded anything yet. You know what? The black mirror is like right there. Oh, and we have wall jump right off the bat, which is kind of cool. You don't have to wait for or discover that. I imagine we find movement abilities and stuff at some point. Uh, dark mirror. You can reinforce any dark mirror Irma is resting at. Warp between mirrors and learn witchery. I wonder what it means to reinforce. I never, I never did do that. Uh, we don't need the warp. Uh, learn witchery. That'd be great. So I tried doing uh, poison before, but let's do, let's try this one. Shoots stone projectile. Simple, but steady. Do we want more bone powder so we can upgrade more? That would make more sense. I'm a big fan of like whenever, whenever I play games, like as early as possible, if you can make it so your money comes in faster, that makes the most sense. I'm telling you, it's really easy to die in this game. I just, I practiced a little bit before this. I'm a, there's some points, especially in just a little bit, you'll see like I end, I end, I must have died like 10 times. 
Wait, how come your spell? There we go. See if I can counter. Nope, I'm gonna die. Don't die. Don't die. We're right next to a save spot. Don't die now. Okay, sacrifice. To link this dark mirror to the workshop, this mold will be discarded forever. Okay. So, we now die. The doppelganger. It's awakened. Dark Ictor boils. You've cast away your mold, but it refused to vanish. The void inside you growing bigger. If somebody took your face, your powers too. Ha <laughs> ha Go find it. Take back what's yours only. Yes, kill it. Prey upon your reflection. It will prey upon you. After a sacrifice, so I guess it's like this is setting up the the black mirror. And Great Irma loses special attack and her discarded mold turns into a vile doppelganger. Return to the last mirror and take back your special attack. Raj. So, as you can see, now we don't have our special attack from pressing Y. Uh, we do have these. We can do spike. I didn't ever put this on. So if I do right trigger now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And so I checked up here and there's there's nothing we can do. Our, our, our body's just kind of in there. That's that's the cast that we have going, I guess. Honestly, whenever whenever I play a new game like this, the first thing I always like want to find out is, is the gameplay any good? Is it fun? And here we go. That is our, my shadow came after me. Doppelganger, I have what you had. I am you. You are not. You are just a forsaken chunk of clay. It is a lie. We both know it. So this thing is not easy because it has my old special powers. Ooh, and that double attack. I'm not gonna lie. I made that look easy because because I'm a gamer. Like, don't worry about the fact that I died like 10 times the first time I did that. Uh, found mirror key. Why does my gland hurt? I killed that thing already. You lost something important, gray kitten. And don't you remember? Your ichter got thin and weak, tainted just like mine. Every time you cast a mold, you pour yourself inside the clay. Sculptor, hey, there you are. We've been looking for you. Your ichter assembles dry shell, makes it rise and stand on its own, a vessel of free will. And that is how your ichter leaves the body. It's how it avoids stagnation. Now it calls for you from the skin that you shed and the shell that you rejected. Stray Ictor commands you to kill what once was you. With every blow it returns to you, drop by drop altered, restored, radiant again. N nonsense, that chunk of hatred cannot. When we reject something, we make ourselves incomplete. Thus we all hate what we need the most. I don't know if that's true, like... We'll, we'll roll with it. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with it for now. Okay, so now this is bonus none. Is it because we already used up the bonus? I'm not entirely sure. So we can use a spear, which looks kind of cool. A little, little slow. Hammer. Oh, man. That just looks fancy. You can get bonus health. Oh, we got bonus health now, now. <laughs> I do love hitting the enemies into the spikes. There's just something about it. Like, the controls in this game are really tight and good. Like, it, it feels like you can jump high enough and you can tack everything you need to. I think, if anything, the only thing that is a little bit tough... I wish I could attack up, but then spots like this would probably be pretty, pretty cheesy. Let's see. So, I only played a little bit further than we currently are now. And there is a really tough enemy coming up in just a little bit. But first, we go through here. We do we do the same thing where we shed our body. Doppelganger begotten. Find the sculptor. She speaks through her. She controls her voice. What? Something made me say that. You are in between the mother and the daughter. They want you for the feast. Poor thing. Poor thing indeed. Oh, she got my hammer. Can she jump up here? Apparently not for some reason, which is very surprising. Ooh. Don't you heal? That's reserved for me.
daughter let's go again that was another spot where i died way too many times harpoon build up pierce bonus ictor Acha. okay okay pierce enemies become more vulnerable okay and then whirlwind let's try let's try the whirlwind it sounds like it could be fun next major upgrades at like 3k and this boss down here messed me up so bad when i first tried it you have to counter like every time oh no can i heal there we go you can counter the jump too oh got me but oh i can't heal got him if you can't counter you're not gonna be able to get that i'm just telling you like it is not easy okay we're almost at 3,000. i really want to upgrade something i think we only, we only have to kill a couple enemies down here i love that we kill enemies just so much faster <gasps> oh i died oh shoot i wasn't paying attention to my health i totally messed that up okay so when you die, if you're wondering, uh, you you leave behind all of your bone powder, but we still keep our glands. I'm gonna die. Don't die again. Don't die again. We had so much money. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. All right, spite level. So now that we died, it only takes a couple of enemies. We get that spite level up. Oh, we, we actually got a couple of spite levels. Uh, let's bring down witchery cost. So that's one thing that's nice is you can get your spite level back up fairly quickly. So this game was described as having souls-like combat because there is times and places where you have to time your hits. Otherwise you're gonna get hurt. All right, let's see if we can beat this boss. Ooh, got blown up. Heal, quick heal, dash. What I do, I can't do a spell yet, but close. Boom! All right, I died to that boss. This is actually where I stopped last time, so I'm kind of excited to see what is next. Can we get up and over this? Nope. I thought maybe, maybe. All right, well, let's go. Let's go through the black gate. And we can upgrade something because oh, we've done so good uh, saving up these bone shards. Do you have anything new for sale? I doubt it. Receives less damage, but moves slower. Yeah, I think this is all the same. Yeah. Anything over here? Some creatures that great and encounters may provide goods to exchange. So this is the same stuff that's been in here. You interrupt your special attack with a dash right before the strike. Great Irma will continue the attack immediately after the dash. Okay, we're gonna go back to the hollow. Ooh! Oh, I'm getting my butt kicked now. Nope. What's the one thing that's nice in these areas? It, at least it lets me go up. Are you gonna heal? Ah, got her, okay. I thought I was gonna lose that for sure. What do we want now? We've tried the hammer. We've got the spear, we've already done that. So, oh, so every time we pick a new one, is it a, a permanent bonus increase? It m might be? No, probably not. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, so what we wanna do is we want to learn. And we wanna just increase the blast or Damages and uh, pushes away nearby foes. Seismic explosion. Ooh, and pushes them away. Hmm. I kind of, I kind of want my burst to be upgraded. The other option: Great Irma conjures a destructive stone wave moving upwards. Cool, cool, cool. So I don't really, I don't. <sighs> Maybe we keep increasing the bone powder drop another twenty-five percent. Like that's huge. I don't know if it only works in this area or why I'm, while I'm alive this one time, but all right, can we just I'm just not worry about them? Uh oh. I okay. You remember what you did to me that night? Spare me the speech. Your words are void of sense. You have cleft me 
Let my ichor go to waste. Let my very essence dry out. Why have you done it? To prove me a monster ill fit to be equal to you? Or maybe just to please her. Can't blame you for that though. She is fascinating, almost like you. I need to see the sculptor. Sculptor, sure. He is hiding from us in the castle apex. It is a long, long way from here. I wonder if we'll be able to play as this character, this other character, or if we only get to play as Irma. I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like we're about ready for a showdown. Behold, with the last drop of me living this vessel for good, I will take back what is mine. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, there's more than one? Okay. This is that Dark Souls like combat. Woo! Missed me. Come on, let me get a. Oh, okay. Let me get a counter. You can't counter in the air. Oof. Where's she at? Where's she at? Heal? We're doing. Oh! Oh my gosh, going faster now. Woo! Heal. Oh my gosh. I'm so dead. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, adds. Can I heal? Nope. Oh, I wasn't expecting to, to come back. Okay. <sighs> the mold perished and the time has passed. The moon has grown hungry, toughening the clayborns. Now, performing a moon right at a dark mirror eases her hunger. Moon hunger inflicted. So what that means is that the enemies, there will be more difficult enemies around. Um, let's see, where do we want to go? We're at the hollow. Fortress is closer to, yeah, this is next to the boss. But we could also go to the mold workshop and, oh yeah, I guess we didn't have to go there. The moon right. Her hunger makes enemies tougher to slay, yet increases the bone powder rewards. Offer ichter gland to alleviate the moon hunger. So we only have five, but we'll, we'll we'll give one up. Wait, discover a new special weapon from collected ichter glands. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that might be a good one to use on the boss. We'll give it a shot, right? And we get extra health for it too. I hit the wrong button. I meant to heal. We're, I'm gonna get it, you know? Instant death. Okay. I was just trying to do spells and that was the wrong thing to do. Okay. I, I messed up. Honestly, I'm really happy that the bosses aren't crazy easy. Like so far, every boss or like major enemy I've actually died a bunch of times. I'm glad it's like that as opposed to the opposite of that. Oh, just barely. Did I finally learn it? Nope. Got cocky. Heal. Heal. Yes! Oh, that feels so good! This is why I love games like this, because that wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but man, I probably spent 40 minutes on just that one boss, just trying to get everything dialed in, and it always felt like it was my fault. I never felt like the the frames were bad, or like I, I was pressing the buttons wrong and just doing whatever. But man, yes, 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 yes. I highly suggest you check this game out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description below. Thank you again so much, Humble Games, for 
supporting me, supporting the channel by sponsoring this. Thank you so much to my members, and also thank you for watching all the end. Let me know what you think of uh, from from just the gameplay and, and watching, and let me know if you're planning on picking it up. I love to uh, I love to see those comments. Again, my name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.